to show you how easy it is to use my cupcake candy dome bundle and make all different styles of cupcake candy domes that you can use as a gift, as a party favor, put a hole in it and use it as a gift tag. I created a way to put the cuts in the icing so you can slip little things in there, vary your colors, use or skip that part. But let me show you just these three ways to mock this up. So to make the cupcake candy dome, you're going to need the cut files that gives you all of these different pieces. You may or may not use them all, and I'm gonna show you a few different ways. You need one half of a plastic fillable Christmas tree ornament, and I will have links for where to find those. You'll need candy to put into the dome. And you wanna make sure it's going to be flat. Then you're going to need a glue gun and either tacky glue or a tape runner adhesive or both, totally up to you. Okay, the first one I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you the simplest way, the simplest and quickest way to make these. This is a great option if you're using it for party favors and you need to make a lot, or you just want it to be super quick. So instead of using all of these pieces, we are only going to use four pieces. So we're going to use the back, the cupcake base, the icing lines, and the cupcake liner. We're going to skip the border that you can add to that. We're gonna skip the layers of icing and we're gonna skip those little extra doodahs. So what we're going to do is first we're going to put together the front, basically. So you're going to line this up, line the cupcake liner up, and make, just to make sure you have it correctly positioned so that these edges and the circle are lined up. Because if you do it this way, it is not going to line up perfectly. You're going to have edge there and there. So you always want to put this down and double check that you're going to put the glue on the correct side. So when you have that lined up, you simply flip that. And I'm just going to use this tape runner. I'm going to run that along there. And then we are going to tape that down. Again, lining up those edges. All right, step number one. Next, we are going to do the same thing with the icing. That's a little easier to know which side because this top curly Q needs to be facing left. Unless you turn it over and want it facing right, you can do it either way, just as long as everything goes the same way. So now I'm going to turn it this way and I'm going to use a tape runner and put the tape on the back of this. All right, because these, this, these little pieces are so thin and I don't want tape runner on my workspace, I'm gonna put it on a piece of paper and then I'm just going to go over that, make sure you're getting the edges. You don't have to do the entire thing, but make sure you're getting kind of where the paper turns and definitely all of these ends. And now we're gonna line it up and tack it down. And I start at the top and make sure these outer edges are lined up. And then I will move in to the center. And then make sure this one goes up with that circle because that circle is what is going to go around this candy dome. All right, then we're just gonna press that down. So the front is done. This is our basic. If you wanted to make it fancier, as I said, you could add this, but this is the one where I'm showing you the easiest, quickest way to get this done. Now we need to put the candy dome onto the backing. And to do that, we're going to be using a glue gun. You're gonna put your candy in the dome, put the paper over top of it, and then flip it over. That is gonna be your best bet for making sure your candy stays inside that dome and doesn't decide to flip out. Then you're going to put the, the front over and you're going to line it up and this is how we know where the dome needs to be because you might not have positioned it perfectly by just flipping it. Then you're gonna make sure you don't move it when you take that off. Now I'm simply going to run a bead of glue all the way around the dome. Now you wanna make sure the tip of the dome, you can either try and cut that off with scissors, but it isn't totally necessary, but you do wanna make sure it's pointing up into the biggest part of the surrounding paper because if it's down here it's really going to bubble quite a bit and now we just need to glue the top to the bottom and we're done so i'm going to run this tape runner i always start by lining up the part of the paper that is has the biggest distance between it 
end the dome and then I work towards the skinnier section. And then you're just gonna kind of press that down and it's gonna cover the glue line. And now you have a super cute cupcake. This would be great for a birthday gift. You could put money in there. You could use it as a party favor. You could punch a hole in it and use it as a gift tag, write something on the back. But that is the simplest version of this candy dome. So now let's do something a little bit more intricate. All right, now I'm gonna do one that's a little bit more intricate and a little bit more involved, including I'm going to use some pop dots to give it a little bit of dimension. And this one is going to be a more sophisticated cupcake. So this would be great for, I don't know, an anniversary party. We're gonna put the heart in there. It could be for a wedding, could be wedding favors, anything like that. So just like with the simpler one, this one, we're gonna start by gluing the cupcake wrapper onto the top base. And we're making sure we're lining up the outer edges and that circle. That's a little bit hard to see on this background because the silver is blending in, but bear with me. Here, we'll do that because I think you can do it. Now on this one, we're going to be using the two different layers of the cupcake icing because we want to pop that up. And it's two layers because that is going to allow you to slide things in it. Like you can put this, we're going to put this heart in here, put this piece of paper, and this time I'm going to try tacky glue. I think it's going to be a little bit easier than the adhesive runner that I use. So I'm going to put just a thin amount on the back of this. I'm doing it over this paper in case glue gets off of the cut paper and onto the workspace, just to keep it off of my workspace. Now I'm gonna make sure I have this angled the same way. Take it off there now so you can see it better. So this curve is angled that way. So now I'm gonna place this one on top, lining up those edges. So that's the first part of the icing. And then I'm gonna take the second one, making sure this curve is down and again, line up those edges. And when you line up those edges, it's going to leave a little bit of space and we want that space to get that heart in there. I'll just turn it over. Get that pressed down. So the space in between those two pieces is underneath this line. So you can't see it when it's put together, but it is going to allow us to do things like that, or even like that. Okay, so now because I want this to have a little bit of dimension, I'm going to use these foam adhesives, put them all around, but not here, because that's where I'm gonna have the heart go in, so I don't want the heart to be blocked by this foam adhesive. Once you have all the backing paper off, you're gonna flip it over, and you're gonna carefully line it up before you let those adhesives touch down because they do stick pretty quickly. So I have that all lined up and I'm just gonna gently press down and you'll see that gives it a little bit of dimension. So that's kind of fun. Now I'm going to, we're gonna slide this puppy in here. Well, not a puppy, a heart. But I want it to pop up a little bit too. So I'm going to put foam dots on the top of the heart because I want the bottom to go inside. So it looks like it's a heart, like a candy heart that is sticking out of the icing. I'm just gonna place that right there. Oh my gosh, I love it. Now we are going to do our candy dome. Put the candy in there, put this on here, flip that. We're going to place this over top and line up the top and bottom to make sure that we have that dome in the proper spot and make sure the hanger part is facing up to the biggest part of the, of the paper, or you can cut that off with scissors. And now we're going to glue gun this to the back. Now all that's left is to glue these two pieces together. And look at that, is that not beautiful? This would be great for a wedding gift too. You could make it into a tag, it could be 
bridal shower favor. This one, we're gonna go all out. We're gonna use all the different pieces and we're gonna add a little ex some extras too by using real birthday candles. Of course, make sure the people do not light them and catch the paper on fire, but they're gonna be super cute. We're going to build the front first. And that means we start with your cupcake wrapper. So you're gonna place it over top. You're gonna to make sure it's lined up properly. The one, when we did the glitter one, you knew it, which side was which because it's only glitter on one side. But with a cardstock, you do need to do, take this step because if you put the glue, if you put the glue on this side and put it down, it's not lined up right, which isn't a huge problem. You could line up the circle and you could cut that off, but why bother when it's lined up perfectly for you? So do that, flip it over, add glue or your favorite adhesive. I'm gonna use this permanent tape runner. Okay, so we didn't use this piece before. This is just another little extra that gives, gives the idea of the lines in a cupcake wrapper. So I'm gonna make sure, again, that that's gonna be the, this is the front, so then I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna put it on this piece of paper. Make sure you get most of the length of things so it doesn't pop up and definitely all of your ends. And we're just gonna place that, whoops, get that lined up and place down. Now we're gonna do the two layers of icing so that we can put some things in there. And this would be really cute in like a white glitter, or you can obviously do colored icing if you want it to be chocolate. You could do two different colors of brown, but I cut out white and the light pink. And for this, I prefer to use glue because that tape runner is a little bit too sticky and it ends up making like spider webs in between these small little lines. So I just like to do really thin layer of glue. Now I'm going to take the top of the icing, and this is easy to line up because the curve here needs to match the curve here. I'm just gonna line that up, press that down. And one th another thing I like about using glue is if you don't get it lined up perfectly while it's wet, you see you can shimmy it a little bit and you don't have that. Now I'm going to you do the second part and you wanna make sure that this curve is away from the top. Like don't do it like that, it won't line up anyway, but just so you know, and you're going to get that lined up. Don't totally push that down until you turn it over because like right there is a little bit white. So we're just gonna shimmy that. Make sure these edges are lined up with that curve so you know that you're getting this where you really want it to be. Now the beauty of this two part is that I made the cuts go underneath the line. So you want to make sure it just you don't want it to get glued together. You want to make sure that stays open so that you can stick things in there. But first we're going to put it on here and I'm going to use pop dots just to give it a little bit, pop dots or foam adhesive, whatever you want to call it, give it a little bit of dimension. You could use bigger ones than I'm using, but this is what I had handy. So this is what I'm going to use. So I'm just going to put them around. Just make sure you don't put them right along here or you won't have the space for these things to push under. Okay, once we have all those backs off, we're going to line this up and you wanna get it lined up as well as possible before you let the foam adhesive touch down because it is hard to move once they touch that backing paper. And then just very gently press down. See how that gives that really cute dimension. Now we can decide what we want to put in here. So I do in the bundle give you two different size hearts and also two pieces that you can make a paper candle. So if it's for little kids or someone you think might actually try and light a real candle, which would be a fire hazard, you want to use these paper candles. So you're basically going to put a little bit of adhesive on the bottom, that part. Glue that to the back of the candle. So you could put a few in there. You could just put one in there. We can just put these in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna put a little dab of glue and then get that shoved in there really fast before that dries. Or I guess I can put it on the paper. Lots of different ways to get that glued in there. Now I'm gonna put I could put it like that, but I think it looks cuter because it looks like it's sticking out of the icing when you put it there. That one's a little bit big, so I'm gonna use the light pink. It does match the icing, but it's a better size. 
but I want it to look like it is a little piece of candy that's put into that cupcake icing. So I'm going to, instead of gluing, I'm gonna use foam dots and just put them at the top. Because if you put it just at the top and not at the bottom, it's going to give you more of an angled look when you put it down. Okay, so that front is ready and you're just gonna get these little glue, glue gun fairies off of there. Now we just need to put the glue the candy dome down. So you put your candy in there put the back on here and flip it. Now you have no idea if this is in the right position. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this over top and see how it just moves. We're going to line it up, put one finger there, gently pick that up, don't let that dome move. And then we're just going to run a bead of glue all the way around. So now all we need to do is get the two sides together. So you'll see on this one, there's pink behind the candy. So it's a little bit of a different look than this one where we did white. I think I like that better actually, because it looks more like part of the wrapper. So this is the same bundle, the same design, and these are just three ways to use them. Having this extra piece of icing, where the two layers of icing, where you can put things inside there and you can pop dot them and everything, it makes it so versatile. You could put money in there, you could put a little note in there, you could cut out a letter, a child or anyone's initials in there. There's just so many things to do with this. So I hope you enjoy it. You can find it in my design bundles or my Etsy shop and have fun.